I am unsure about this new camera angle starting my videos out but uh anyways I don't know how exciting this uh, job's gonna be it's a 2021 so it's brand new 2022 yeah it's like brand new brand new and Tyler's the inspector and ooh, this is part of the new builds man you got all these contractors coming in and got nails everywhere <laughs> anyways 2022 new build and um gonna see what we find on this one and then after that i have a marketing event so yeah well we'll bring you to the marketing event to show you what it looks like to market as a home inspector so um let's see what we're gonna find let's go check it out Okay, we're gonna start this one in the attic and um, I talked to Tyler for a second and he said that they already had a buyer for this one and then that buyer backed out because of financing so they had their inspection and now we're doing another inspection so I think my fines are going to be limited but I did find something I, uh, I always do when we inspected an attic space um, you can use the attic light, but I'll, I like to actually look in the attic space without any light at all, but sometimes you can see the light coming in. So we're gonna recommend to reseal the storm collars. And then also right here behind the flue, the uh, mechanical exhaust vent is detached. One thing that's actually nice that you don't see too often, but this AC is sealed up really, really well. We feel no air coming off of it, but whenever we check the uh, filter, you know, pulling this bad boy out, we check the filter, look how clean this return is. I mean, you never see that. That means that this builder sealed up all the returns and the air vents whenever they were painting and doing all the drywall work. So the AC system, is clean that people are moving into a clean AC system which is I mean you, you never see that so that is a really good sign uh, that this builder took those extra steps to make sure that the the buyer uh, was taken care of so that that's really nice this is this is not a find but just something to keep an eye out on whenever you're inspecting you want to pay attention to the ridge vents to make sure that they are open I can't tell you how many new builds we've inspected where they have sealed up the ridge vents and you have poor airflow. So you can see we have light coming in through the soffit vents and you can see we have ridge vents open. It feels pretty good in this attic space. So um, uh, we have really good ventilation. Something that you can actually catch pretty often on new builds is uh, poor ventilation. Another thing to keep an eye out on is if it actually feels good in the attic space, it feels too good, start following the duct work too as well. If uh, you can actually find split duct work in, in the attic space, so if it feels kind of moist or wet, uh, it could have fresh air or uh, uh, air coming out of the HVAC system uh, blowing in here. So just because it, all, it feels good doesn't always mean that it's good ventilation. So Whenever I walk in the attic space and it feels really good up here, I start really scanning the duct work, trying to see if there's any puncture, separation um, across the duct work. Again, we didn't find anything, but just just things to, to keep an eye out on and look for. Okay, uh, another find that we have is with these, uh, these sprinkler systems, a lot of builders, what they do is uh, builders more contractors <laughs> the builders contractors uh, they forget to wire the rain sensor so let me show you that so it's pretty easy to identify right here um, you just need to make sure that the rain sensor wires are attached there is a rain sensor outside and no rain sensor connected in the sprinkler system and that can give the buyer a headache down the line so um, if you don't know what a rain sensor looks like let me show you here you go, that's what that bad boy looks like. And it is raining right now. And what will happen is, is the rain, the sprinkler system will never turn off, even when it's raining. So the buyer will 
uh, waste a little bit of water. So we're just gonna document that so the client can um, get the rain sensor set up. Another common find is, uh, let me get my laser pointer here, but you can kind of see uh, Tyler spotted it, but the swell isn't allowing the water to drain in front of the uh, condensers here. So we're gonna just recommend to improve the drainage just a little bit. It's not showing up in the video too much, but it's actually holding water in this location. So uh, he, it was holding water before we showed up and it rained like two days ago. So um, we'll just recommend to improve the drainage on the side of the property. If that was a, a pre, if this was a pre-existing home, the way that drainage is set up, I probably wouldn't say anything because uh, unless there was a whole lot of erosion, but whenever we have new builds, we do end up being a lot, you know, more picky. We become more picky uh, so the client can uh, move into a less headache-free home. I think Tyler's checking something. We got one more thing. Hey, how's it going? So um, wrapping up here at the uh, inspection, the last thing we do is we take our thermal camera and we do a scan around the entire house. This helps us find areas of active moisture, missing insulation, and so on. So um, when you're going through with this scan, um, you can't just see differences in the temperature and automatically assume that you're finding a leak. You also have to look around the areas surrounding and ask yourself, could this also be from some other related equipment? So you can see up here, we have an air register. So as I'm looking through on my thermal camera, um, there is some cooler spots that are running straight along there. And then also I have this stray spot over here just to the left of it. So um, more than likely when I see this, it's going to be the duct that's running close to the ceiling here. Um, but this stray spot over there, you know, you have time here at the end of the inspection. You don't want to leave any stone unturned. So um, we're going to go ahead and check this spot here just to confirm that there is no um, active moisture here. So um, I kind of like to bring it up here with me just so I can see these spots so I know that I'm landing right on the area. So always start with um, checking the actual spots from the surface and then if I'm getting a questionable reading that I'm kind of in between on um, especially on these new construction houses then um, I may opt to um, use the probes here to test so um, in this spot I'm getting about a 150 to 160 reading um, which is still considered dry on the surface um, this doesn't start reading wet until it hits 200, maxes out at, at a 999. So um, getting 160 on there, um, and then I did um, just confirm with the probes because that's a spot the builder can easily paint over, um, and there was no, no active moisture there. But now we know for sure that this spot here is not actively wet here today at the inspection. Okay, this is not inspection related, but would this bother you? This is a $500,000 home and they don't include garage door openers or the backyard sprinkler system. They only do the front yard sprinkler system. Just, just find that odd. Find that really odd. So does that bother you? Okay, one of the last finds is actually right here. Uh, the, the ground electro rod is uh, pulled loose. This could have happened with one of the lawn companies or it just wasn't tight enough in the, uh, the bracket whenever it was installed. This is a pretty important find, and I'm surprised uh, the other inspector didn't catch it. So that's why I was saying it, it, it could have been the lawn company in between the inspections. So let's uh, go ahead to that marketing event. Like I said, this one isn't, wasn't, shouldn't be too exciting. You know, you're not gonna find anything too crazy on a new build. I wanna say that out loud. <laughs> too crazy is relative, right? Um, but, Let's head to uh, let's head to that marketing event and uh, hang out with some of our agents. By the way, look at Tyler's truck. He 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 smokes my truck. I mean, I mean, they're two different trucks. Mine's like a, a street truck, and then his could like survive the zombie apocalypse or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, things pr pretty badass. All right, we're going to the marketing event. 
Okay, so we are headed to the marketing event. Uh, this one is a Buffini marketing event from the class that we've been taking over, what, six weeks? Six weeks or so? It's been, it, this one's actually eight. Oh, eight weeks. So this is kind of the mid to graduation marketing event and what we do is we no, this is the graduation oh this is the graduation so, yeah, oh over. man we made it through the class <laughs> <laughs> um so we market with the agents we talk to them one-on-one -on -one, uh conversation we don't ex actually expect a huge turnout which is actually kind of sad because the the class kind of dwindled as we went through it and it really wasn't marketed that well but Every opportunity is an opportunity to meet someone new and really in any situation like this, as long as you walk away with one uh, new lead or referral, I say it's a win. Yeah, I so agree. I'll show you the marketing event. Follow us along. Okay, I'm here with Carrie. Uh, Y'all have all seen before. You can go back and check out our, our podcast. That was a good podcast. That was a good podcast. Yeah. It was you fun. Know, you know, uh, it was cathartic. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael actually called me and he was upset. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, that's not what I said at all. I was like, I, I understand, I understand <laughs> that, but that's how we perceive it. You and there know? you go. You're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens, right? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. But um, we're we're out here marketing. Uh, we're doing a, a buffini. They do the graduation, and I guess if you had to give t tips to any home inspectors out there, uh, one thing I feel like most people fail on is they come out and they just want to blast our services and you what exactly what you do. But you know what we do. Right. right. So what, what would your advice be? What, what do you think would be a good way to step into an experienced agent, an agent that sells, you know, what would you recommend? Spend time and build a relationship. Yeah, so all the tools that you have and everything else is secondary to that relationship. Yeah, I agree. Like, just for example, we were just talking about, you know, your daughter right. and, like, the house that she bought and, and items like that. And, you, you know, it's, I think it's more about the relationship of, like, uh, how, we, how we develop it. Spend time building a relationship. I mean, that, because you guys did that with us, and we're not going to go anywhere else. Right. And I had a client. You guys couldn't do the inspection until Friday, and today is what, Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. They wanted it sooner, and I was like, you're a fool if you're going with somebody else. Yeah, and so just, they're not. Yeah, so they just, they're, they're okay with waiting. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think, uh, is Brendan doing that one? I, think I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I bet he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll see. All yeah. right, so Good there deal. there you go. Yeah, spend time uh, with the relationship, and it's and it's about building, you know, good customer experience on both sides, and, and they know to provide that. So and that good. first inspection with that real estate agent is your opportunity to do that. Right, yeah. Literally to build that yeah. relationship. Yeah, take that extra time. And, take that time. And, uh, and just talk to them about everyday things, not just problems the home. Yep. Totally agree. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Alright, the lighting is... My face is very spooky. <laughs> the best that I can do. <laughs> but, um, you know, the marketing event turned out well. We ended up being the only sponsor, which isn't ideal, like but it. also very good. We don't compete with anyone, so whenever we do our little speech of what's going on, you know, our little five-minute post, uh, it's the only thing they remember and several of the agents there they're top producing that use us often and it kind of helps solidify the the relationship yep. um, I didn't get very much video I'm sorry about that but I guess you just kind of have to get it so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, catch it's, us on the next one it's time to eat pasta yeah we're very hungry <laughs> I don't eat at these things <laughs> all right bye guys